Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to create an API from scratch and we are going to deploy it on Heroku. And we are going to create the API with Node and Express. So the thing is, as you can see the screen, this is what the API will look like. Actually, I am a big fan of Manchester United, so I have made a list or a list of JSON data where I have the names of the players and the jersey numbers separated into categories by the player positions. So let's just get started and if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe to this youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified immediately so let's get started with our coding the first thing that i'm going to do as we are going to use node and express first of all we need to initialize an npm application so npm init minus y minus y means we don't have to answer every questions but this is by default yes for all so so we already got our package.json so now let's install express npm i express minus minus save and now let's create an index.js file okay so let's get started const express equals require express const app equals express okay. and let's specify the port process.env.port or 3000 all right app.get this is the index route we will have a request and a response In this response, we will get Manchester United players. Okay. And app dot listen port, and we will have a function where we will just console log. App is listening to port port. Alright. Let's save it and then let's just test it out if it works. Okay, it says app is listening to port 3000. So let's go to the browser and let's search for localhost 3000. Okay, if you can see, it says Manchester United players as we have sent the response. Okay, let's get back. All right. So as we, as I said that I have a JSON file created, so I'll just copy all the data. But before that, I need to create it. So let's create Man Manchester United dot JSON. And in this file, I already have a set of JSON data that I I showed you. So I will just copy those data. Okay, as you can see that I have all my data here. So if you want to add something or if you want to delete something, you can do it from here. And then if you call it from the application and then deploy it. So after deployment, you will see these data from the browser. That will be the API that has been created. So I will just save it and then I'll go back to index and then just call this const layer data equals require and united.json all right so we have the data here what we will do now is app.get and in this slash players so if we go to slash players after the url then we are going to get this data so let's make that this will be a request response and then error function we will have send we will be sending the player data let's save it and now let's let's test it again so let's restart the server okay so let's refresh 
Okay, we have Manchester United players, and then if we go to Flash players, all right. As you can see, that we have these exactly as we have here. If we go to the Man United or JSON, you see goalkeeper's name, jersey, again a name jersey, name jersey of uh, David De Gea, jersey number one, Lee Grant jersey thirteen, Dean Henderson twenty six, Tom Heaton twenty two, and then so on. Defenders then the midfielders and then also the forwards so that's exactly what we have here so this is the API that has been created now the thing we need to do is we need to deploy it but before that we need to have this pushed in github or any other version control that you use I will be using github for this so I will create a new repository here and I will name it Manchester United I'll just stop the server and clear things up and I will be using this terminal. So first of all we need to we need to create a git ignore file because we don't want node modules or any other unnecessary files to be pushed on GitHub. So let's create a dot git ignore and we will just have node modules because we, we don't have anything else. Alright now let's initialize git. So git init Okay. Git status. I just want to do git status to check everything. It's it's not necessary or not a part of any step, but it's just what I do. Git add. Let's commit this. There's added. All right, let's get back to GitHub and we need to copy this and paste it here. Okay, so now we can push. Origin master. Okay, so this is already pushed on GitHub. So if I go to GitHub, you can see if I refresh, we have these in GitHub. Okay. We need to create one more file for Heroku as well, so that is actually called proc file. This file is for Heroku and we need to specify where is the starting point of the application. So we will type web node index.js and save it. Okay, so we will push this as well. file edit okay so it's pushed in github now what we are going to do is we are going to deploy it on heroku so we will be using the command line interface so you need to download that command line heroku command line interface cli so for that i will leave a link down in the description below so you can download it from there and i will i already have it in my computer so I will be just writing Heroku login. Okay, it's asking, press any key to open up the browser. I will just press enter. Okay, it's asking me to login. So if I click on login and with my credentials, I'll log in. Okay, so it says I've logged in. So we're back on VS Code. Let's clear these things off. So we are back here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a Heroku app, which is Heroku create, let's name it Manchester United and hit enter. Let's see what happens. Okay, so Manchester United is already taken, so we need to create something else. So we can create Manchester hyphen United demo. Let's just name it like that. All right. So that's not taken. We got it. Manchester United demo. This is something that we got. Okay. So now we can push our things that we have already pushed in GitHub to Heroku. So we can directly type git push Heroku master. 
all right so the build has been successful so this is the link where we can find our api we can just copy this And we can paste it here as you can if you can see it's manchester united demo dot heroku dot app heroku app dot com we go there so we get manchester united players and if we go to slash players there you go we have everything as we wanted we have the goalkeepers we have the defenders we have the midfielders and we have the forwards with their name and the jersey number so basically that's it for the video we have created our own api and then we have deployed it on heroku so if we are creating any sort of application or something we can call this api and we can use the data here from this api so that was the main purpose of our video so i hope you have enjoyed it and if you thought that it was useful try it and see how you how it goes and also if you want a reference i will also leave a link of this code down in the description below that is the github repository where you can find the data as well and if you found it useful consider liking this video sharing with your community and of course comment what you thought about what, uh, about this video and if you haven't already i would ask you again please subscribe to the setup channel and hit the bell icon so that's it for now I, i'll leave and i'll see you in the next video till then goodbye